Okay. This is a thought on winter hiking, or autumn hiking, I should say. Kind of, sort of. Um, you can see a lot more of what's going on. Definitely more of a bryophyte friendly, lichen friendly, rock friendly uh, adventure uh, versus all the all the leaves on the trees and the shrubs. So a lot of these vistas uh, you wouldn't really see otherwise. Uh, not a lot of evergreens here in Illinois uh, to cover up the scenery. But, uh, and of course, it's good mushrooming generally in the fall and winter. So, the main issue is breathable clothes, which I tend to emphasize uh, synthetics um, that you can sweat through. So, that way you don't arrive at your destination wet and cold, necessarily. Um, so, I mean, today is 76, and um, it might very well get a little bit warmer, but definitely will get a little colder. Um, might be a lot a bit colder, but um, Southern Illinois, we don't uh, have too many terribly, terribly cold. Uh, winters as far as I can tell um, I'm gonna say they much like say Western Oregon as they come through periodically and then everything plunges down to seven or something ridiculous like that I've done some videos where I've hiked on this trail uh, during uh, excessively cold weather but you know the teens really aren't the uh, um, bad, or really aren't bad hiking weather if you have the right clothes. Um, not say that's a sentiment that you'll see in a couple of locations. But uh, the problem that I found during the last year's cold spell, which tends to happen around January, February in that area, um, it's the wind more than anything but uh, I, was, I was perfectly comfortable in the teens and 20s in Colorado but that's because I was dressed in layers and I kept moving and uh, like that so anyway um, I think it's important to hike um, at, at different times of the year to see what's going on how about that